Bass, beware. We have confiscated the bandit. If y'all don't know, I have an aluminum boat. It's like a 1942 model. Just kidding. But it's an old aluminum boat. And it's the one I actually first started fishing out of. Like whenever I was 12 years old. Fished with my dad when I was even younger than that. But really whenever I was like 12 years old, that's a boat that I started fishing out of. And today we just upgraded the troll motor on it. Put a little bit higher pound thrust troll motor on this boat. Put a short shaft motor guide x3 on it i think it's a 55 pound thrust so it's going to be more than enough for this little boat this little boat probably don't weigh but about 32 pounds put a lithium battery in there and it's going to be super lightweight in the front you have a lot of power but anyways small little local river today can't even call this one a lake even smaller even more local even more of a river than the small little local lakes we normally fish but haven't been over here in probably five or six months haven't been over here to this this lake or this river in a long long time so let's go try it let's go see what's happening you never know how we're going to catch them over here i don't have very many rods don't have very many baits we're going to have to be flipping an invader or throwing the new untamed tackle apex swim jig around one of the two we're going to have to catch them on those two because that's all we got so this river only has two two goats ready it's either a super grind or you just bust them bust them or super grind one of the two today because the last couple times we came it was like a super grind. super grind yeah. and we have had some busting days over here though haven't we honey yeah. we have in the summer usually. when it's hot in the summer we usually catch them pretty decent but it's not summer yet don't really know where they're at as far as the phase of the spawn or nothing like that they could be some still on bed could be done we'll just have to go in over there and check it out and see what's going on could be fun though definitely can be fun over here it's not as good as it used to be it's actually not nearly as good as it used to be it used to be phenomenal over here now it's a whole lot tougher to get a bite but still some really big ones over here still one of the best places to fish in my area so are they gonna be on bed also the reason that kyle can see them on bed and i cannot is because he has water lens there you go the water sun lens sunglasses the sunglasses are the reason because well, that's what I'm going to say anyways, because I can't see him and he can. Yep, and I'm about a foot taller than you, which helps. The higher you get up, obviously, the better you can help, you can see him. That's why I risk life and limb to stand on my trolling motor, you know, risking it all standing up there. I risked it yesterday there. to get that video. Hunter did. Hunter was standing on the trolling motor, perched up like a gargoyle up there, did holding the camera. Did y'all like that angle? Yeah, Hunter was in front of me on the thing, about here with my rod, knocked her in the water. She was up there balancing. But we got the video done, which is the, a lot of people the like goal. The video too. It was a good video. Really good idea. I like it. I like the fast pace, lots of talking, lots of info in a short amount of time. That's what I like if I'm watching. So that's kind of what I like to make also. I don't like a lot of waste of time, a lot of fluff, a lot of repeating yourself. That's what I, I that's just not what I like. But uh some people post those videos and they do really well. But anyways. We got suggestions in the comment all, in the comments also, so we can make a part two to that one too. We can make a part two already. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. We'll see how it does. We'll see what people like. But let's go catch them first off. Pulling up right now. About to put the boat on the ramp. I'm that guy right now. I'm gonna be that guy today that you pull up and you're like, why are you getting your boat ready on the ramp? You know what? Because nobody else is here and nobody else is coming. If I was at a real ramp, I wouldn't do this, but right now I'm that guy. So if you pull up in the next 47 seconds that it takes me to take my motor toter off, you're going to be pissed at me. But if you pull up ready, like if you pull up more ready than I am right now, I'd actually be kind of impressed. So, anyways, water's low, water's, low, water's clear, and uh, we'll see them. I mean, hopefully, if they're on bed, we'll be able to see them really, really well right now. They're not on bed. They're going to be generating here in about four or five hours. Very, very difficult to catch a bass over here if they're not generating. You can still do it, finessing them, but pretty difficult to catch a bass over here if they're not generating. So they will be starting to pull current here in a few hours. But until then, might be the super grind, as Miss Hunter said. We have a little bed fish right here, and I'm about to catch it. Go ahead and do it then. And four, four flips. Four flips or less. He had it the whole time. Still got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was 
so funny. Hold it in here. What do you think? First bed fish of the day. First bed fish. Hadn't seen very many. He's not that small. No, he's not that small. He's acting crazy. He's peeing. Yep, that's what they do. Okay, Kyle, it's your turn. My turn? Mm -hmm. Look how he's hooked. Three alt gamakatsu straight shank got him, didn't it? Ready? On his bed. What do you think? I'm excited. Pretty I want to catch a five. Okay. Set the hook the wrong way on that one, but we got him. Pretty nice one. Big male, close to a three pounder probably. He probably is a three pounder. Um, the female is actually smaller, which is surprising, but hey, that's all right. It's all good. Look how beautiful these fish are over here. Love these fish. That looks like a female actually, but it ain't, I don't believe. Had a big, big mouth, big jaw. Very, like whenever I cast in the bed, one left, one stayed. He's the one that stayed, but he was the bigger one, so. I'm thinking that's a male. Well, there's no one on bed right there. You tried to bust him. There you go. Oh, he's big, big. What's gonna do with him? Get on there and lift him? Yeah. Go ahead. I? Go I ahead. Do it. I do it. Yeah, you can. Like this? Yep. And then grab a line? Well, you ain't supposed to grab a line, but you can. The reason they don't put your thumb in his mouth. And then show us what you're working with. Oh, my feet are hot. Get the rod out the water. Oh, this is a jumble. Quit recording. Oh, a jumble. I agree. That's a good one. How big is he? He's good. He is good. There's a little one in there. I need my shoes. My feet are burning up. Hunter, you had to work for that one, didn't you? Yes. It didn't take a lot of time as far as minutes, but you got him to bite, couldn't get in the right spot, lost him, lost him twice actually. And now we got him. Show him to the camera one time. Give us your guesstimated weight on him. He's bigger than that. He's over three. You think so? Probably about a six and a half, seven, something like that. Scale? Throw him back. What you looking for? There's a little one in here. Throw him back. Hey, look, majestic. Not God, I had to freaking big him. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I missed her. She must have had it turned weird in her mouth. Now they're both leaving. She must have just had it turned weird in her mouth because it went and she disappeared with it. And I set the hook and uh, somehow just didn't hook her. No, I got him. It's really fat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got them both. <sighs> I 
Oh, some tall mount. How big is that one? Five, five and a half, five three quarters. Not bad. Let's do a good little release. Thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Just caught old Girth Brooks. That's a fat one right there, dude. That's a good one. Couple little bed fishing clips. Caught some big ones, but camera wasn't running for those. Obviously, never is. Caught a handful of 14, 15 pounders, but the camera wasn't on. What well, we caught? I caught one you too. Know. Hunter caught one. That's how it always goes. When the camera goes off, 14 to 15 pounders come out of nowhere. You know, you just start smashing them. Just so, I mean, GoPro battery, you'll die. 14 pounder bites. It's just, it's like clockwork every single time. But, anyways, getting ready to head to Fork now. We got boxes out reorganizing got all my little johns right there some got rusty reorganizing it got all kinds of stuff like that right here look at this i think these bad boys right here will get a little play on fork probably not because the water six foot low so i'm gonna say it probably won't but i'd sure like for it to but anyways gearing up got rods right there 15 right there three four right there three four right there all packed up in here trying to get ready for fork you know so hope you enjoyed that video the next one will be i don't know what exactly but we're gonna start filming tomorrow our little journey to fork gonna stop by we dowie marine in the morning get some electronic stuff dialed in before we head out to fork and then be all good to go from there so hope you enjoyed that appreciate you watching we'll see y'all